All right, let's look at the geometric interpretation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So the definition says ax is equal to lambda x. In other words, if you multiply the eigenvector times the matrix, it really just uh, multiplies it by a, a, a scalar. So um, what that's going to do is it's going to maybe stretch or, or compress it, and it might reverse its direction. You know, if, if you had, if, if this were an, an eigenvector, when you multiply it by um, the matrix, it'll, it might stretch it or, or shrink it depending on the, whether the eigenvector is bigger or smaller than one. And if it's negative, it might reverse its direction. So one way of saying that is the vector ax is parallel to x. So in other words, they point in the same or opposite direction, and the length of ax is lambda times the length of x. So thinking like that, let's, uh, let's look at the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a couple of different matrices. This first one is... Um, this first one is a reflection matrix, and this reflects across uh, the line y equals x. If you look at this, 0, 1, 1, 0, if you multiply that by xy, you get yx. So it just swaps x and y. So we can look at that and geometrically figure out what its uh, eigenvectors and eigenvalues are. Let's draw a, a set of axes. And try that again. Right, so we've got our x and y axis. And the line that it's going to reflect across is y equals x. All right. So let's say we have this vector out here. This is going to reflect it across the line up to here. So are there any vectors that this would not um, sort of change the angle of? And there's one that I think is pretty obvious. If you take a point that lies on this line, think of it as a point or think of it as a vector, when you uh, multiply that by this matrix, it just swaps x and y. Well, since it's on this uh, curve here, or on this line y equals x, it's not going to change. So any vector that lies on this line, the line of uh, reflection, is um, unchanged by this. So vectors on the line y equals x are unchanged. Another way of saying that is they are multiplied by 1 when multiplied by R. I call this matrix R for uh, reflection. So uh, the eigenvalue is 1. The eigenvectors are all the vectors that lie on that line. Another way we could say that is the span of 1, 1. So that's one eigenvalue, eigenvector pair. Now, now notice uh, the eigenvector, we don't just get one, we get infinitely many of them. That actually sort of foreshadows this down here. The eigenvectors that go with lambda, a given eigenvalue, form a subspace of Rn. Sure enough, these form a subspace. It's this line through the, um, through the origin. Is there any other, uh, are there any other vectors that this will, that this uh, reflection will just either unchange or reverse the direction of? The answer there is yes. If you look at, if you look at vectors that are orthogonal to that line, if you were to uh, reflect this across the line, you're going to get this guy over here. Now what did it do there? It, uh, reflecting it just changed the, uh, 
change the sign of x and y. So we also get this. Um, vectors on y equals negative x change sign or are multiplied by better way of saying that is are multiplied by negative one. So lambda equals negative one. It's eigenvectors that are the span of one negative one. All right. Um, example 202 we'll do in the next video.